This instructional video shows one method of assembling a spherical geometric screen room. Its assembly had no stressed or broken parts during its construction, nor after its completion. The construction of any sizable project should follow local ordinances and requirements, as well as appropriate safety procedures. This six-minute instructional video will offer an approach toward assembling a trico-domed screen room. The prototype shown in this video is approximately 39 and a half feet in diameter and 21 foot high and is constructed with aluminum patio extrusions and connected with trico brackets. The trico bracket is specifically designed to allow a clean, simple appearance but a strong connection by securing screws through the bracket and into the extrusion's screw slots. Special care should be used when assembling the trico brackets to the extrusions. Most of the aluminum's ends will have compound cuts during construction and vary according to each pentagon and hexagon position, so it is imperative that a cutting chart be followed precisely to ensure accurate assembly. The miter cut saws should be within one degree and the lengths of each extrusion should be within one sixteenth of an inch long. This trico dome was entirely constructed by lifting the dome as it was assembled and screened. The entire assembly was done by one person, using a 6 foot and a 10 foot ladder, as well as creating 8 foot high scaffolding. All of the dome's construction can be done without any sophisticated lifts or cherry picker buckets. However, an experienced construction crew can speed things up. By starting at the top center of the dome with the uppermost pentagon, a simple suspension system can be used to start assembly of the dome at the center about three or four foot off the ground. Adding edges and panels as needed, each panel can be screened and slowly elevated in a symmetrical fashion while keeping the top center pentagon in a level but elevating position. As the dome approaches the second and third ring of faces or panels, the need for more supports, also described as jacks, will arise as it is important not to stress any portion of the structure as it grows higher. The pictured custom scaffold jacks can be made out of 2x4s and 2x6s. They allow easy repositioning during lifting and with the use of heavy bungee cords they help distribute any weight to the other bungee cords on the remaining jacks. They can be positioned horizontally or vertically and act as supports for a platform. The total weight of a 40-foot V4 dome is approximately 1,100 pounds. Five well-positioned scaffold jacks can easily absorb 220 pounds of weight each. This weight is distributed by the four or more bungee cords and tie-off ropes connected from the jack to the lower extrusions of the dome. Using heavy-duty bungee cords with quality ends helps make a secure connection while lifting. Lifting in small increments between the tie-offs should average five or six inches at a time per jack. This evenly distributes the weight of the dome to the other jacks. Using a homemade water level or laser level can guarantee a level dome through construction. As the dome approaches the third or fourth ring of panels, its weight will create a tendency to flatten out. This is avoided by taking two actions. First is to secure a heavy cord internally through five eye bolts, which are attached through the five of the trico brackets then draw the rope in accordingly to maintain a spherical view. The second action is to position the scaffold jacks where the bungees and tie-off ropes are more than vertical but inward which will prevent any tendency toward flattening out. Putting the jack stands on the inner side of the dome also helps. The screening of the panels adds much stability to the dome during assembly. Making or purchasing an internal protractor can help verify a panel's position before being screened. This will help ensure accuracy during assembly. A pentagon will always have five similar internal angles, while a hexagon will have pairs of similar internal angles. As the dome increases in size, the ease of screening large panels increases because the outer wall becomes more vertical. There is more weight on each bungee, and averaging four or five bungees on a jack stand makes tying off and raising sequences easier. 
As the dome increases in size, raising the dome in more gradual increments is preferred. It slows the process but evens out possible stressing. As the outer walls approach vertical, it is important to level the dome as precisely as possible before advancing to securing the dome to its footings. After the dome has been precisely leveled off and elevated to the appropriate height, the remaining upright aluminum extrusions are cut long enough to protrude into the ground where they are anchored by appropriate methods according to your requirements. A continuous poured concrete footer can give the ground perimeter a place to finish off the bottom of each panel by putting either a similar 3 inch by 2 inch extrusion along the base or 1 inch by 2 inch aluminum extrusion. Installing a screen door is a custom procedure. While most pre-hung screen doors are 36 by 80 inch, the door should be installed vertical and the extrusions around it should match up to the door frame for screening. Trico domes can be built in various sizes and various frequencies. For more information, visit our website at tricodome.com, where you can see various sizes and uses of domes, as well as the trico bracket, which makes these elegant and functional domes possible. Thank you.